Welcome to this motion and blending screencast. The goal of blending and motion curves is to add life to your animations by going beyond the linear speed effects. In this tutorial, we'll start from an existing document that performs a morphing between two photos. Open the Girl Man example from the Help menu. As you see, the morph transition is set to 5 seconds. The transition happens in a linear fashion from the first image to the second one. Let's bring the blending and motion curves window by double clicking the morph transition in the timeline. You will notice both the blending and motion options at the top of the window. At the bottom of the window, you can choose for which transition you will be editing properties, and for motion, even choose which curve layer will be affected by motion changes. Blending tells how much texture of the first image has to be used for the rendered output according to time, while motion is about how the curves will move from the first image to the second one. Click play to start the real-time preview. Now change the blending curve by choosing one of the presets just as shown. Notice how this changes the rendered output. You can even modify the curves by adding a number of points to the curve and move them. You can now move to the motion option and add some variation there. By adding a few points and moving them around, you will be able to create oscillations in the output. Modifying blending and motion curves brings more life to your morphing animations. Thanks for listening.